Welcome to the Circus of Wayward Wonders. Welcome to Roll for Combat, Three Ring Adventure. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat, Three Ring Adventure. I'm your GM and host, Stephen Glicker, and in this week's episode, the PCs continue to set up the defenses, and they do a little bit of shopping. So this week is a bit of a shopping episode. I usually keep these in because everyone seems to like them. And this turns out to be like, I don't know, an impromptu shopping episode because they start talking about, hey, what gold do we have? Maybe we should like, you know, upgrade our characters. And the thing is, there is never a good time to do this. Okay, it's one of these things that I always find strange that PCs always want to get gold. They always want to get gear. But when I say, hey, let's sit down and actually spend it, no one wants to do it which is weird. I get it, because sometimes you might have a PC and you only need to buy like one or two things and then you're done. And then you have another PC who wants to spend like two hours going through every book to find that exact piece of equipment that they want. So I get it, I totally get it. The thing is, is that you just gotta do it, okay? You gotta do it. I've tried to do this online, it never works well. No one ever responds. And more importantly, if you do it online, sometimes people don't coordinate as well. So I just like to do it in one session. The other thing is that if you don't force your PCs to do it, they might go a very long time without updating their equipment. For example, on Agents of Edgewatch, they went so long without buying new stuff that they were like several levels behind when it came to pluses on their armor and their gear. And they ended up like really upgrading their gear and they were like six levels behind where they actually should be. And then suddenly when they were playing like, oh my God, it's so much easier to hit and do damage. And we're doing so much better because you literally have to spend the time to buy gear and upgrade it. Now, one of the most popular rules of Pathfinder is the automatic progression rule where all your equipment just gets what it needs. And you can find that table in the rules. But that is probably one of the best rules to use for people who are lazy. And what it does is it just makes all your weapons get the plus one at level two and become striking at level four. And then you get the right armor at like level five, I believe. I'm just doing it off my memory. So that way, you know, everything just goes up. You know, you don't have to spend gold. You don't have to do anything. It just automatically happens. That's probably the way... I might even run my games in the future because I found like, you know, when my players forgot to do all that, they forgot to get their striking runes. They forgot to get the plus one armor runes and all that other stuff. They were so far behind the curve that it was really hurting them. So I know a lot of people use automatic progression and I think it's a really good rule and, you know, you should probably do it. Also, this way, people only need to shop for, like, potions and scrolls and cool magic items. They don't continuously have to add new runes to the weapons and their armor and make sure they're always up to date and spending their money on that. So I would say, you know, use that rule. It's a good one. As for keeping track of it, what I do is I have a Google Sheet and we share it between everyone. And so when you hear us talking, that is the best way to handle this. Everyone's on the same page. Everyone's using the same information. Everyone has access to it at all times. I, in the past, just used an Excel sheet, and then I just went to Google Sheets, and ta-da, and I shared with everyone. And also because Google Sheet automatically has version tracking in it, so every single time a change is made, it's recorded. I'm not worried about someone going in and like giving themselves an extra thousand gold pieces, because you can't not record it, so I'll know they did it. That's something else I like. It's easy to use, it keeps track of everything, you can't cheat with it. It's a perfect solution, so that's what I recommend everyone should do in their games. And then finally, we often have what's called a loot master, and that's one person who's in charge of keeping track of all the loot. I used to do it in the past. Now it's a combination of myself and a player. I like to keep track of the gold and the consumables, and I keep that in a Google Sheet. But then in terms of like larger loot, if they find like a big cache or big hoard, I have them record it. And to be honest, 95% of the time they sell almost all of it anyhow. So in the end, the only thing you really need to know is how much gold you have, what are your consumables, what are your magic weapons, armor, and skill items? And that's it. In my opinion, those are the most important things. Yeah, you'll probably have a whole bunch of these extra items, but those are always consumables. And then in terms of like, I don't know, daily items or magic items you can use once a day or once every 10 minutes, I also put this on this master sheet. So that is what I use. I basically have this master sheet. Anyhow, with that, let's get to this week's exciting episode. Yes, yes. You you got you got so much going on that um, something happens while you're while you're doing your warding. Uh-oh. Uh oh. While you're doing your wards and you're walking around town helping out, 
is you notice that there's a husband and wife that have like a cart and a horse and it's like just filled to the brink. Wait, which one did they put first? The cart or the horse? Ah, I get it. I don't get it explained. And they're trying to leave town. And they see you and they're like, don't try to stop us. We're convinced that the Zolgaths are going to over around the town any day now. And our only chance of survival is to escape. So don't stop us. And you see they're just like really struggling. They're older. The horse can barely pull this cart. And they're going to be dinosaur food in a few hours. Please, you should stay. They are all around the town. We have defeated the Zolgaths multiple times. Your best chance of success is to stay with us. Let alone, um, I I want to make sure you are safe. If you leave, it will be hard to protect you. You uh, should stay. He, he, you know what? This is it. This is our only time. I know everyone's been saying it's dire. We don't care. This is all we have in the world. I'd rather take a risk out there than stay here. It's been terrible. We, 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 we can't do it. We can't do it. I, I know you, you are not you alone. You things. will have the whole town and you will have us. We have defeated the Zolgas multiple times. This will be tough, but we will do it. I, there, I, there's an army out there. You can't defeat an army as, ba- as strong as you are. And look at this. There's holes everywhere. This town has been dying for years now. There's nothing left. This is the last straw. We can't move move horsey move and the horse is like barely moving this huge card it's like crank 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 we once we defeat the zolgas we will be able to clear the tower and that will help the town I, I swear to you we have done this before this this will be tough but we will do this we we have many times i promise you can i diplomacy them yes great not that i'm the best oh 32 I rolled a 13. And and suddenly the horse just sort of like stops and they fall into a rut in the street. And they're like, oh, I'll tell you what, if you can help me with this cart and bring it back to town, we'll stay. You convinced me. Uh, it looks like getting out of here with all this stuff is going to be just as bad as staying here. So mm. if we're going to die, we might as well die in comfort in our home. I am not the crafter that Steel Scale is, but I can help you with this. So between my own crafting and maybe a touch it's, of... It's literally just like telekinetic projectile. So oh, yeah. Cart. yeah. <laughs> it's it's literally just... I can help them with that. Can you push the cart? That's Please all use the you. cart as a projectile. That yes. sounds hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 telekinetic... Didn't you get that level 7 spell where you can yes. like throw the whole cart I with could. the horse yes. into <laughs> town? <laughs> Yeah. So which came first? In this case, the cart. Yeah, all is one. Yeah, I will definitely help them and make sure they get back to town. I I don't think Atron would trust that they would guaranteed go back. So Atron just makes sure. Okay, this is actually the owners of Beatrex Brewing Company. And it was a good thing you ah. got them back in town because <laughs> a lot of people needed them to get drunk. So, uh, well, I mean, good job. When you can't trust the water, that's why alcohol and meat and everything yes. became so important in the yes. Middle Ages. And why everyone drank milk as well, because uh, no one drank water, because you would die. Yeah, you couldn't trust it. That was correct. Yeah. Good uh-huh. job on your first day. Yeah, what could go wrong now? Day one. Check. Is there anything you wish to do? You still have time at the end of the day um, to relax, buy things. The other Soakers performers have been helping out. The good news is is that it looks like, with your help and the circus performers, that they are starting to get things together. And it looks like they're getting organized, that the town will be able to continue working on the defenses on their own. Uh, but right now, they still need your help and the circus performers' help. So, because they mm-hmm. are very disorganized. So. Mm-hmm. So, is there I'm, anything else you wish to do? I'm going to go shopping again. <laughs> what? You know, this isn't a 7-Eleven. We're not open 24-7. Uh, I'm going to do something extremely stupid later. So, I want to try and... I don't know. I'm going to just go back to the shop. And I'm not going to spend much time on it. Not in real life time. I'm going to see if, if the shop has a ritual from the Dark Archive. 
It's called Contact Friends. It just It's a ritual. It costs like an hour and you have to spend 50 gold worth of incense. But it just lets you like reach out to your friends and ask them a question. And I don't know, just like yeah, but you don't have the you don't have it though. I don't have what the ritual. No, no, I know. I'd like to go ask if like she has it, so I can like buy it and like learn it. No, it's uncommon. No way oh, do they have this. It, it didn't hurt to ask. <laughs> no, yeah, no. It, you're you are in the middle of a siege in the middle of a you know, town that's like that. No, you need to uh, go somewhere that has yeah. more than um yeah this. <laughs> I, I okay. do also want to go shopping. Do they have? Um, armor potency runes. How much money do we have? I you have know, over a thousand, and yeah, I've been I'm wanting to s- buy the armor potency Ooh. plus two. I've been sitting on money. I still have eight hundred. Yeah, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I I, could, I have not been keeping the greatest records. Yeah, I haven't spent a whole lot. We we have some stuff to identify, which I'm going to do after this. Okay, but I've had money for quite a while. But yeah, the armor potency plus two rune is a thousand sixty. So I was mm. hoping to buy that. Yeah, greater um, striking. Armor potency plus two, that's level 11. That's 1,060 gold pieces. Yep. I got good news and bad news for you. Okay. Bad news is they don't have it here. Good news is they have it in Escadar. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, Darius, can you pick me up a rune, please? Yes, sure. I, I will also buy... What level is greater striking rune? Checking. Is it... I think it's probably uh, the same. It is the same price, level 12. Excellent. 1,065. Mm-hmm. How much gold do you guys have? Do you know, Do you have it? I thought I asked you to do that again. I um, keep it all on, on my on my character sheet. Well, I meant Rob. Didn't you, weren't you helping again? Because I said... The, yeah, we haven't uh, sold anything since the last time we got True. Money. We have, like, a bunch of stuff to Well, do you sell. have the totals? Can you just post that in um, Discord real quick? Uh, I don't have any new totals to give yet. No, I meant the old totals. Do you have the old totals? Oh, I would just look for your handout. You want me to put my totals in th- my total in there? Because I have mine. Uh, sure. I have something in here, so let me see. Yeah, I just pasted the last time. Oh, that was a while uh, ago. Yours actually aligns with what I had, so. Yep, that's and that's what I have. We haven't sold anything since. Yeah. Wait, so... I'm just going to use that. Yeah, that's the last time, and then I started keeping track, and so we have some stuff we might be able to sell, but I don't have it prepared yet. Uh, I, I, yeah. I was going to identify a few things today from that. Well, we I can just help got if you want. Stage, and uh, oh yeah, sure. Right now, I'm just talking out of character. Got um, it. And there's a few things that people kept, but we can decide to sell that between sessions. I'm going to buy some common scrolls that are level three. Is that okay? That should be okay. All right. It's called Show the Way, and it's from Gods and Magic, and it's level three. And I'm going to buy, like, eight of these. <laughs> I don't know. Let me go see how much level three scrolls are. What about are. things like uh, Shock Rune? Because uh, it looks like Darius, you bought a Shock Rune. Uh, that I got from Alhara's staff. Yeah. Got it. I do I do have things here, like Thunder Rune. For... That I had on my fists. Is right. there another one? No, no. But that didn't that come? Did that come before or after? Oh, the, before this. Before, before that. We, total? I, I, I mean that those the thunder rune was added when Alhara got the lightning rune. Oh, okay, and the returning rune from Dagger. I'm just like I do have things I wrote down like the wand of crack. Oh, that's and lightning. Oh yeah. Hap and um, looks like Alhara gave Hap thirty gold uh, restoration scrolls, neutralize poison, remove disease, wand level two restoration. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put Shock these rooms. items. I'm gonna put these items I just bought on the on our party loot thing because I forgot that we have that. Atron gave Darius thirty gold and bought a plane shot. Oh wait, I still can't edit this for some reason. I have no idea why. I do. You set me as an editor on it, and it still just won't let me do it. Hold on, yeah, the sheets are locked. You know, while we're discussing this, I know Steel Scale wants to add some stuff to her hoard, and from an RP standpoint, is a little concerned with all these Zolgaths. So I, I think she's going to want to go and collect the stuff from her hoard and bring it here to, I, I don't know, a, a large in-room, a meeting hall she can use as her lair temporarily, um, someplace in town that she can stay, uh, that she can make her hoard in town so that it's not at risk. Uh, let's see, I have here now that Rob is an editor. It says Lauren's an editor, Rob's an editor, Vanessa's an editor. 
Yeah, that's the thing. You made me an editor, but for some reason I still can't do it. I have no idea why. For which one? Of the public one. Oh. Uh, says I only have view access. Maybe I have to switch. You have to go to the right tab. Oh. Uh. Do we have it pinned somewhere? Yeah, in the players, um, chat. Player chat in Circus. Oh, uh-huh. I see. I just, it, based on the title, I didn't realize that was what I was supposed to be looking at. All right. I'm just going to start over. Now, Hap had 1423. You spent 600 on a scroll of plane ships so now you got put me down for four more 30 cost scrolls each and i'll update my sheet as well what are they called uh scroll of show the way all right so should i use the alahara column to figure out how much cash i have to do stuff with uh hold on i'm screwing around with stuff okay i'll let you do that let me know when it's ready to look at it again well, like the Thundering Ruin, I think you transferred and gave to Darius, right? Uh, yeah, like, Steel Scale doesn't have any of Alhara's equipment. So anything that was Alhara equipment got transferred into party loot or to somebody else. I don't think we dealt with, like, a lot of the Alhara equipment. Probably not. Steel Skill Steel just, just came in with her own, like, Dragon yeah. Horde, which is the majority yeah. of her equipment. We just board. took potions and the rune off the staff. And, and the cash, I guess? So in that case... Alhara's money is split between us remaining Alhara friends. Now this is all, this is for the so look at circus found loot. Well, that's the totals I have. I don't know what steel skills total should start off with. I'm trying to look for the spreadsheet I did when I made the character. But you also have a horde of diamonds, fade ban, leaves of the wisdom tree. The hell! I've never heard of any of these things. Uh, we found them last time, and you put them in your. You, you I did. Had, well, we have them for the party, but you wanted them for your horde. Oh, if you let me know what's in there, because I'm going to make an actual list, so that'll be cool. Diamonds, 950 gold pieces. Where do I find this on the sheet? On Circus Public, under Horde. Got it, I see those three things, thank you. I left it there for future reference, because I know you forget. These were things you found, and you said, ooh, ooh, can I keep that for my Horde? I said, sure, and I put them there so we don't forget. Oh, yeah, there were were random things that no one wanted, I wasn't sure what those were. were. Those were them. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then, um, and then everything else here. This isn't used for buying and selling. So the public sheet is just used for tracking. The circus loot one is you can see at the bottom here. I'll mark it. I'll like make that column bright yellow. Oh, it's an ugly yellow. That is that is your money. Now I don't know how much. Oops, oops. There we go. Hap is seven hundred three. Atron sixteen thirty. Darius seven nine zero seven. Steel scale something. <laughs> I, 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 well, so, I don't yeah, we can work. We can work on it later. I will tell you yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. I started okay. with thirty nine hundred gold piece worth of value in my horde, um, spread across multiple bonuses, and then what? okay, I know, and then which I'll increase some if I get an opportunity to with this stuff now, and then um, yeah, before we get into a real battle, and then I have um a pittance of stuff and actual items uh like good uh, crafting goggles and a couple other in the backpack ballista and stuff you have 3900 jesus all right well it was a 4500 character start oh okay makes so. sense all right so there you go so we don't have to do all this right now but that's approximately cool. how much gold you have i'll try to have more than enough for the plus one two armor potency if you want to buy that now darius yep. you have 907 before you start selling stuff um you didn't find a ton last time, and it looks like some of the super big stuff you might be giving to Steel Scale. Like, I don't know, you did find 2,500 gold pieces worth of stuff, so it's up to you guys what you want yeah. to do with it. So. I mean, wh- where did Alhara's money go? Uh, I, Alhara- didn't, I didn't touch her cash, so it's whatever the spreadsheet says. Oh, so, wow. Is that, is yeah. that what you're doing? You're going to take it and just sort of go, oh, well, and just sp- split it up? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, put it up. Oh my god, you're so mean. Okay. Why does that mean? Huh? I mean... Did Ohara want to buy something when she's alive? I'll buy her anything she wants. Yeah, I mean, she did. Although, it could be like setting money aside for a later resurrection ritual or whatever you want to do, but... Yeah. If if we don't want to unbalance the wealth by level, is what I'm thinking. To be like, oh, we're keeping her wealth around because you're planning on bringing her back. And so you would not just sell off all her shit and maybe any cash she had... Oh, you're, not, like, you're not selling off anything, but you're not selling anything. Yeah, no, yeah. you can't do that. I'm not letting. I never let that. But yeah. um, under the Alhara blood money, 
Oof. You each get 197.67 gold pieces, so it's not that much. Okay. She, she, so Three of them? Yeah, I did it for everyone. Except what was it? Oh, 197 and 67? Yeah, that's the three of them. Yeah, yeah, look on the thing. I, I put it under here. Oh, okay. So Darius now has 1105. Oh, I see. Happen, one. 901, and Altron is 1828. You can put the rest on a gift certificate. I buy the ceramic Dalmatian. Okay, you got 1102 <laughs> left. <laughs> no one's going to get that joke. Because no one watched Wheel of Fortune in the 90s. In the, in the 80s or in the whatever. 80s. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, that's how much you have. I will put... What do you guys want to do? Do you want to actually start identifying things real quick? Do you want to just buy a few things? You tell me. Um, I would like to identify... Well, did did Nelvin's case or the Fade Band need identifying? You already did. Oh, we did? Oh, okay. Why I don't we, we identify stuff? But if we're going to sell it, let's do that off camera. Well, it's up to you. There's never a good time to do this. So if we want to spend, we started early. So whatever you want, uh, you can do it now. You can do it later. But you should probably do it soon because if you want to start using things that help you, it's going to probably come in handy in a little while. So it's up to you. Catch 22. You probably will. If you want to get that plus two armor, probably get it now before yeah, it starts did. happening. Yep. Yeah, Atron is buying the armor potency plus two and selling the potency plus one. Really? Yeah. Why would I keep it? Same. That's how that goes. Sentimental. Nah. Yeah. Although it's getting sold at the store I bought it from. So there you go. All right. So that will give you. That will leave you. Oh god, you're making me do math. I, I've got it. Eight hundred forty-seven gold, thirteen silver, eleven copper is what I have left now. I have seven hundred eighty-four point forty-one. That sound right? You're at sixteen thirty. Selling the armor potency is sixteen eighty. Plus one armor potency. Oh, it's ten. It's, uh, I was thinking Starfinder. I got confused. Eight hundred and forty-eight. <laughs> Dot forty-one. That's what I got for you. Yeah, I had eight four seven thirteen silver eleven copper. So it's very cool. Oh no, wait. Thirteen copper is eight forty-eight. Three four. Yep, that's exactly what I have. There you go. Okay. Anyone else? I mean, if I can do this before we start engaging dinosaurs, I would. But what do you if it's do? gonna, yeah, uh, sure. just gonna sell the plus one striking rune and get the plus two striking. Uh, I mean, sorry, not plus two. Uh, greater. Sell the regular striking and get greater striking. Sorry. Oh, I you really want it. you to get greater striking. That's so cool. Yeah. You got it. That will not be a problem. Okay, let me do that real quick. Okay, that's excellent. Oh, you, you buy it, you had 40 gold pieces left. Oh, no! Okie doke. But then you'll, hold on. And then you sell the striking for... Yeah, some small amount. 32.5! Uh, yeah. Darius, you get 72.72. 72. Okay. Hey, is that cool? You're so cool. Mm-hmm. It's like, I got exactly what I wanted. Now I gotta change your character. Yeah. Uh, let's see. For ripping for wait, let me do Autron first. Armor goes up by two. Technically, only one. Well, if you take off the plus one, then right. it goes up by two. Yes. So I was technically correct. The best kind of correct. Darius gets a plus one to everything. <laughs> cool. No, he doesn't. It gives you just to attack to attack, and you deal three weapon dice? I believe so. What? Instead of two. 3d8, right. maybe. Oh, maybe I'm forgetting. Wait, your hand wraps are already plus two hand wraps of, sh of thunder. Of, of oh, yeah. Thunder, electricity, and regular striking. Yeah, so it's just the number of dice is going up. That's all. Oh, because you got striking. Woo. Um, uh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, so your weapon surge is 4d8? Oh. What is that? If I weapon surge, it goes up by... The base die. The weapon surge. Let's see. Okay, so plus one. And the weapon deals an additional die of damage. Up to three. If it has a striking rune, this instead increases the number of dice from the striking rune by one to a maximum of three extra weapon dice. So I could do... So if I weapon surge, it's going to be uh, three extra weapon dice, right? Because it's... Well, it's, no, well, you, you have... It's not three extra, so striking... Wait, if the weapon is a striking, this increases by one. 
and the greater striking is... gives you two. Right. Right? So it is correct. So if you ch click on your thing and your weapon surge is 4d8. Yeah. And your regular attack is 3d8 damage, which is correct. How do you see... Oh, well, I see what you did. Yes, 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 yes. You okay. roll over the uh, damage. In this yeah. Shoot, so. Yeah, I very rarely weapon surge. Yeah. Doesn't affect your other things. Okay, done. Anyone else? Thank you. Um. Okay, hold on. I was in the much. I think I want to try to get Crafter's eyepiece. Well, I have one, but I want it on with the the up better, the better version. Yay! Paperwork. I'm looking through all like the magic items now. I don't think there's it's never a good time to do it, and this is yeah. this is it. I mean, it's like it won't take that long. So it's yeah, never yeah. Time to do it. You so never do it offline. You do it offline. Yeah. You never do it offline. We never do it offline. It's eleven hundred and forty to upgrade it to the I, one I want. I see. So gives you a plus two item bonus. But it also makes the um. I guess yeah. I also like the thing where when I repair things are repaired like fifty percent more. Um. <clears throat> and I can do a fifth level creation spell over the course of a minute. That's cool. I don't have I have diamonds, but I don't have that much cash. So I was wondering if I could just essentially sell stuff out of my hoard to get it. The difference. Maybe uh, Darius can buy an Escadar on one of his shopping trips. Well, that's what I'm assuming you're doing yeah. all this. That's what I'm assuming this we're doing. Time. Yeah. 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 So, so I'm going to yeah. go buy runes and food. Yeah, okay. Well, if, if you can get me the better crafter's eyepiece then and, and sure. Make trade this... in the other one for its value, then... Yep. Assume All it's right. done, and that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'll figure out that cost out of my stuff, then. Oh, I don't want to sell my Pathfinder Chronicle Volume 1 in good condition. You just added that. What? No, I'm kidding. I, I, I wrote out what the rest was in my hoard, and I'll share it with the audience when we do the scene where I'm setting it back up in, you know, an amphitheater or something. I don't know, somewhere enclosed. Not an amphitheater. Well, now you only have tw 2760 in gold. So 2760? Well, if you had 3900 and then you have to spend... Oh, yeah. Well, I have the three things. I have a bunch of diamonds, I have a fade band and leaves, but if I sell items, like the diamonds I'll get full, co full cost for, but the fade band I'd have to, like, sell for half. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, yeah, the fade band you only get right. Well, the things in in the way I do it, you see the things in um, yellow. That's that's jewelry slash treasure that you get full value for. Oh. Everything else is half value. Okay, so, so I could sell the leaves of the wisdom tree. Yes, that is. Let me double check that. Actually, I didn't know if that was an item or something. I actually, wasn't even sure what that was at all. I thought it was an item. I was gonna look it up. Anyway, I basically have enough if I sell the leaves of the wisdom tree, or the, the fade band, rather, and the diamonds. Yes, uh, the set of druid's vestments hangs on the hook. A folio oh. nearby bookshelves titled Leaves of the Wisdom Tree contains contain several rare esoteric drawings of primal significance. It is worth oh. 1,500 gold. No, 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 I want to keep the book. That sounds so cool. No, I'll sell <laughs> the stupid... There's a talisman. There's a fade band magical talisman, which sounds cool, but it's like, eh. So I'm totally going to sell that uh, and then use the diamonds, and that should give me enough, and I'm going to keep the super cool book. Yeah, the fade band, you get half. So Which is at 160, which is a total of 1110. 1110. So and my difference is, yeah, 30, it's like 11. 30 gold. 30 more? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to sell off. So, so Darius, uh, Steel Scale asks you to get the thing, hands you that like fade band talisman yes. mm -hmm. and all of the diamonds that they were like, you can sleep on these. And she's like, ah, I really don't like sleeping on stuff like this. So, you know, what? can you take these and trade them? And, and, and if you need to, if you need to, and I'm going to feel really bad about it, but I do have my collection of heroic bobbleheads. And I'm willing to sell a couple of them if I have to. But I really could use that better eyepiece, especially with all the crafting we're going to be doing. So um, anyway, so I've got I've got Durvin Guest and I've got Eridan and I have like a Nethys one. And there's like all these like little like bobbleheads. You should heads. not sell your bobbleheads, please. No, I, I mean, I need I'm. I, I don't think I have quite enough. But if you need to sell some of these, that would be OK, I guess. 
Uh, I mean, I can always buy them again later, right? If if I can find them. I mean, some of them are like limited edition, but like well, you should not sell the limited stuff. editions or the ones you got through Kickstarter. What? Keep 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 them. Okay, but what if I'm short thirty gold pieces? I I have enough. Are you sure? We'll see. Yeah. Okay. 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 Diamonds come and go. Bobbleheads are special. Are forever. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> They've always brought me luck. <laughs> that is a deep cut, Elizabeth Taylor. Thank you. <laughs> that was from a commercial. Yeah. That is so deep. Wow. You get a hero point for that. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, anyone else? What do you all think about Atron getting a Grim Sand Glass? I mean, it sounds great. You should have I, it. I don't know what it does. I have no idea what it does. It's one of the spell hearts. It would give me some negative energy resistance and a second level heal or harm once per day. It's not bad. I mean, that sounds like a no-brainer. So, and I wouldn't have to prepare Chill Touch anymore. There you go. That's cool. Yeah, it's just, it's a talisman that lasts forever. The spell hearts. Yeah. Yeah, I'll buy it. All right. That sounds like a really good thing to get. It is common and level eight. So. Let me edit the found loot. I'm going to add two more purchases. So it's going to cost me 450 gold. All right, hold on. What did you buy? Grim Sandglass Grater. What does it do? So I'm going to uh, fix it to my armor. So I'm going to have negative energy resistance five. It gives me chill touch at will and a second level harm or heal once per day. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put this on armor. Oops. Move to resist all of its clothing. What did it have by? I'm just what? getting two more level three skulls. They're common. Of what? A safe passage. Cool. Okay. Yep. Got it. All right. Everybody good on yeah. purchases? Yeah. Uh, yeah yep. I have a couple things to round out, but they should, okay. they're just, they're horde things. So it's nothing that we have to go to town hmm. for. Steven. Vanessa. Um, you want to know other stuff? Uh, horde bonuses I'm increasing from the added value are slight increases on my weapon imbuements for mental and force damage are going up from d4s to d6s and and then i'm adding three new bonuses one to perception one to, and, and then the other two to skills so i'm going to get a plus two on perception a plus two to athletics and a plus one on ac acrobatics well what do you have what's your ability it's my ability horde hauler horde warder horde deposit ex it is the dragon's optional rule to instead of like to use the monster part system with a horde. So I put items in the horde and then I get um, benefits from them as if I had created monster parts. I know, but are you using the, do you have like the ancestry feat um, of like a th ethereal horde or anything like that or no? I don't have any of those special ones. No, it's a physical one. I got to haul around with me. Got it. Okay. You don't have like... There's like the ones where you sleep on the horde and get bonuses. No, I don't have that specifically. Okay. I just have... Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Um, in the hordes of power section, um, rather than doing the automatic bonus progression, you talked me into doing the um, the one that works with monster systems, so I just did that. Right. Okay. Horde burglar. Oh, no! Your horde is gone. It was burgled by the ham burglar. I mean, the horde burglar. I mean, you could do that. That would suck for me, but you can do it. I know. My stuff isn't that extravagant in terms of... Um, it's co let's, so let, let's read from the rules, by the way. No self-respecting dragon would voluntarily remove objects from their horde to buy or sell them. And indeed, doing so intentionally... Typically destabilizes the entire horde's strange ge uh, geomancy, resulting in a loss of all benefits. <gasps> oh, did shit. you sell I didn't. your diamonds and fade bands? I never put them in the horde, so no, I didn't take anything out of the horde. I decided not to because I wanted to upgrade the crafter's eyepiece. Oh, yeah, and, I think technically the only thing we had discussed putting in there was the leaves of the wisdom tree. Yeah. So once whatever. it's in, oh, I'm it sorry. never gets out. Rob's not back yet, right? I am. Yeah, back. he is. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to be annoying. I'm going to buy one more thing. <laughs> I'm going to buy one more thing. Take Did you wait for me to get back to be annoying? <laughs> no, I was hoping I was hoping I was going to you know, get it done before you. I just need minus 30 gold, please. 
I'm going to get two potions that are 15 gold apiece. They're common. What are they? Salamander's Elixir. I'm just going to get the low-level version of it. I actually do like that. Done. All right, I promise I'm not going to buy anything else. <laughs> I don't care. Once you, it's, it's like, you might as well. It's in a good time. Okay. Everyone has bought what they bought. If you're changing stuff, steel scale, change your formulas. Yep, you know, I'll change. Do that. Yeah, I'll change it. Yep. I, by the way, I went in and I adjusted your formulas a little so they're easier for me to read. Okay. I just made bolds and stuff. Uh, I didn't okay. change anything else. Just because it's... Uh, if you press the buttons, you'll see what I mean. Don't worry about it. You don't you have to it. do it, but I did make it easier for me. Okay. Um, Look how active we were that first day back to town. You did a lot in one day. Yeah, and let did. me tell you something. Your reward is a good night's sleep. Give me a will save, everyone, except I don't want to go to sleep. Steel scale. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. Time to go to bed. Go to bed, girly. No, serious. I'm not going to go to bed yet. I've got more to do. <laughs> well... Atron, you're fine. Yeah, Darius, mm -hmm. sleep like a baby. Uh, I do want. Yeah, I have more to do. Okay, what are you doing? Let's. I want to. I want to talk to the mayor real quick. Just real quick. Okay, you find her. She's disheveled. Her hair is a mess. She's like, yes, yes, yes. I heard you've been doing amazing work, especially you have. Good job, good job. Gives you a little pat on the back and gets singed a little by your hair. Well, Miss Fandy, I had an idea that might save the town. And Is that all? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Wow, gonna... okay. You win the adventure. Yes, let's hear it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go get us some mercenaries. And I no, wanted... no, no, no. Don't get us mercenaries. No, 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 no. That will freak the town out. We have a history of that. No, don't, don't. That's a bad idea, bad idea. No, no, no. Please, please, please. We, we could do this ourselves. This, is, this has been tried before, and it's failed horribly. That's why, that's why the Banyan boys didn't like you, because we've tried that in the past, and it has been nothing but deaths and murders and robbery and thieves. No, no mercenaries. I believe Steve is it going for this. This was going to be such a bad idea, and it was going to be awesome. It is a bad idea. It's such a bad idea because it's written into the town charter. She pulls it out. She says, no mercenaries! Exclamation point. In little type. That's kind of it funny, It says, though. we mean it. What? <laughs> well, that's silly. We need all the help we can get, especially trained warriors. We have you, and we trust you. And, and coming together and doing the Magnificent Seven, we're going to save this town one way or another. Hmm. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to be grumpy about it. Okay. And I'm going to consider getting us mercenaries anyway. Okay. You, you had, maybe you should have done that. Go around her all, all along. And then it'll really be a mess. There you go. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go talk to my dad. Uh... I'll go talk to him. Oh, okay. I thought you were an orphan. Yeah, well, I have an adoptive father. What was his name? Do we remember? I'm going to talk to my dad, whose name I can't remember because it's been so long. It's been a long time. It's been like a it year. It has been a long time. It's been a long time since you had a hard time with your dad. Yeah. Dad, these are dire situations. I thought I could help by bringing in some extra warriors to, to help defend the town, but the mayor doesn't want any and i think it's gonna get people killed hmm well the problem with bringing in mercenaries is that you have to really watch them and lead them and do you have the time and effort unfortunately i don't think hardened mercenaries are gonna follow a 16 year old girl they might especially if they recognize a kinship I, I, I don't know about that, but, you know, trained warriors are not always the best idea because all it does is take a, someone else with some more gold to make them switch sides. Well, if you think it's best. Well, what are you thinking of doing? Why don't, you, why don't you talk it through with me before we snap to a decision? Well, you know I've been reading a lot about where my bloodline comes from and I know that we could get some magical help from the city of brass 
And we have the tools we need to go there, too. The City of Brass. The City of Brass is a large, complex place with over three million inhabitants. It's, it's not something you could just run in and quickly find mercenaries and come back. This isn't something that you can just do in a day. I think your heart's in the right place, but I think this is something that would take quite a bit of time, at least a couple weeks. I don't think you have enough time to go there and get what you need. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. I think it really could have helped. I I actually completely agree with you. In fact, finding mercenaries in a place like that would be an amazing help, but to be honest, it's, uh, it's unlike any place you've even imagined. I mean, Absalon is the biggest place on Galarian, and the city of Brass is ten times bigger than that. It's oh wow! It's 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 beyond comprehension. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just keep that plan in our pocket then. Yeah, I I think if we continue with the defenses, I mean you you've been making incredible progress. Everything that was done in just one day, the town already looks a thousand times better. Everyone has been contributing so well, and the circus folk have been able, I think, in as little as a day or two. They're going to be in pretty good shape. Well, I guess I'll find Steel Skill and see if I can sleep in her in her cave. I don't want to have the nightmares that this town brings. Oh, you've been having them too, yeah. We've all been having them as well. But I have I heard that that happens sometimes with people new to the town, that they have these strange nightmares. But I wouldn't worry. This is something that's been going on, I suppose, for... A long time. I don't think it has anything to do with these Zolgaths. I think it's just something to do with strange energies uh, this town is built upon or something. Yeah. Well, all right, Dad. It's nice to catch up with you. Have have a good night and good luck tomorrow keeping the keeping all the help working on the town. Yeah. Well, again, let me let me think about that idea of yours. It's not a bad idea. I just I don't want you to get lost in the city of brass or oh i wouldn't get lost i have four scrolls that always tell me where to go hmm. okay fair enough but a city like that i think uh i think one of us would or at least some of us if not all of us would want to go with you that's not a it's not something you could just chaunt into by yourself it's it is a gargantuan city filled with wonders and Sights you've never even imagined. I don't know that anyone else can handle the heat, though. It's the plane of fire, and I don't mind the heat. That's true, but I I do know there's ways for visitors to go to the city of Brass. They do have methods. But again, that's just something we probably need a little time to research that we can't just do willy-nilly so quickly. You're saying that just arbitrarily jumping to different planets that we've never been to isn't the best idea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> With no well, money to hire mercenaries? <laughs> I have 800 bucks or something. <laughs> yeah, you can hire one guy for 10 minutes. I was going to get them. I was going to get like some of the town's money from the mayor. She, I, want, I needed her to be like, this is a great idea. Here's a thousand dollars for mercenaries. Yeah, a thousand. Sure, that's not enough for an army of mercenaries. Army I mean, of fire it, mercenaries? Fire and plane hey, of hey. fire. <laughs> Even if it was just literally four ifrits, true, that oh, would have God, been a ifrits. big help. You know, that's what yeah. I'm saying. And I, I literally have a class feat that just makes it easier for me to do diplomacy with elementals. So ifrits, like I'm so set up for this. <laughs> oh, oh, and let's not forget that when I roll diplomacy, I actually use performance. So you know, I'd only be hitting like 40s and 50s with them. All right. Well, I guess I'll go to bed. I'm gonna see if, if I can't if I can't get Steel Scale to let me be her roomie for a little bit because I don't want to deal with these nightmares. Where does Steel Scale sleep? That's a really good question. So she needs a place to put all her stuff, and right now most of it's in this big sack, and she's gonna need a couple hours just to like set it up. So she's probably gonna ask the mayor and be like, uh. Where where can I put my things? I need like a big enough space. Hopefully, one with like a lot of shelves would be really useful. And um, I, I just you know I I have my display stands. They're they're folded up, but so that's okay. But I need like a thing to put the display stands on. So I just don't even know. Is there like a like a theater no one's using or something? Don't don't you have like a house? Don't you don't you live somewhere? 
uh, I have a lair, um, but it's outside of town, and there's a bunch of Zolgaths out there, and they hadn't approached it yet, so I gathered up all my stuff and got it out of there before oh. they found it. Oh, okay, that, 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 that totally makes sense. Um, sure, sure, sure. There's a lot of abandoned uh, places now. So many people have left. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find you a place, no problem. Okay, thanks. I just, uh, yeah, okay. Hey, Hap, you can go bunk with Steel Scale in town. Uh, I want to get out of town. <laughs> no uh, one's going out of town. Right. Guess I'll have to have nightmares. Uh, you, you, you can stay with me if you think it'll help. Um, I just, just, just leave my stuff where it is. It's, it's, it's all valuable, and and if you if you mess with it or take it out of the packaging, it, it'll lose value. So. No, it's okay. If you're staying in town, then that doesn't help. We have to get outside of town to get away from the nightmares. But we have to stay in town to get away from the Zolgaths. I'm just gonna sleep in my in my in my cart. Leave it. Oh, okay. With my dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. You you don't want to have mean. a sleepover? Yeah. We can have a sleepover. Sleepover party. Um. Do you like spicy food? Okay. Um, yeah, spicy food is great. It's the only thing that makes me feel like one of those, like, gold dragons. Rah! Okay, and then, alright, so then they can go and they can have a sleepover. Sleepover montage! Da, da, da. They're, like, fighting and pillows and they're having fun. They're making s'mores. What other things do you guys do? I don't know. I'm making this stuff uh, up. Well, I know Steel Scale has to set up her horde, and if Hap wants to help, she may absolutely do so as long as she's very careful with things. I don't want to help. I go oh, to well, pillows. <laughs> because, I'm going to read my scroll. <laughs> I was it. thinking of the movie Grease, and that's like the only movie I can think of in my retrospect, in my in my uh, recollection, and I remember that. So, I I I am a guy. Who, when we used to sleep over, we used to play Dungeons and Dragons. That's what I did. So. <laughs> yeah. Our characters just, you know, when they're hanging out, they play uh, work at corporate job. That's what they play. Right. You're like, hey, do you want to play humans and wait, what's the name? Taxes. Of the humans yeah. and taxes. Do you want to play taxes and more taxes? Gosh. Oh, I'm going to roll the accountant. Oh, don't take that. I want to be the accountant. Uh-oh, it's Sunday. It's time for errands and chores. Oh, your no! Laundry. Yay! Roll to fold laundry. Yo, roll I am two. so The laundry sits in a pile on your sofa. You it's don't a touch it now. for 2D3 <laughs> days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh strange how this doesn't sell well i'm so disappointed i was gonna be off camera like tonight and like maybe even like most of the next session and just like have this adventure and it was gonna be so cool just this little adventure but no instead i get nightmares sleeping next to a dragon it probably farts a lot Mm. I just ate all that spicy food you made me i know like what what, that's your that's your fault you should like like, we can go to the plane of fire maybe like i don't know Next August or September, maybe. You know how, like, in cartoons, if a dragon, like, farts, it'll fart its breath weapon, which is usually fire in cartoons. I imagine that the farting dragon in the sleep, because my breath weapon is sonic, is, like, just obnoxiously loud. <laughs> oh, it's my so God. Stupid. It's like, <laughs> it's like an air horn. It's so stupid. It's like, it's just like, it sounds like everyone's, a tuba. Trying to, everyone's trying to sleep in town, <laughs> and it's like those air raid sirens. You just hear, it's like what is that no one can sleep at night steel scale (laughs) and meanwhile hap secretly finds a trumpet and like puts it in the right place she's like you know what if i'm gonna use this i might as well get some entertainment out of this and then uh finds a veluza and it's like it's like it's like that will that will scare zolgaths Look, I'm still tempted to have her run off to another planet. I'm still thinking about it. I would recommend you at least talk to me a little bit more ahead of time if you want to. Do oh something. no, it was gonna be it was gonna be off camera until you and I were ready to fi- you know figure out what happens. Oh, that will never happen in time. Okay. Hey, uh, it's not a bad idea, but I think and you, you, I've taken care of this, and you'll see. Okay, 
Just with get that, that Rage of Elements book, eh? I eh? do need a will save from Hap. I might need two. I mean, I might need one for the dreams oh, and great. one, one for, for the farts. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, oh, 37 nice. on the will save. Does Hap care at all about what You're Steel fine. Scales Horde is? Or are you ignoring it? Your You're will save fine. is so good. You're I'm... so fine, Hap. Hap, you are like the sleep of the angels. You're like all that farting. <laughs> uh, it, it kept me... It, it, it somehow made me feel at home. Like I was sleeping with Darius and Alhara and Riley. Because that's what they do. I conjured <laughs> up some earmuffs. Like, mm. I did. No, I, I, I don't Did you care wish about for your board because I'm too pouty. I'm, like, really mad. Like, I really wanted to go on this adventure. And I've got to read my scroll so I remember it, and I'm just too grumpy. All right, Grumposaurus, you all wake up fresh as a fiddle. Everyone's happy. The progress on the town is flying. One more day, at least, of this, and then things might start happening. Who wants to do what? Town defenses, go. Oh. I, I wanted to talk about my horde if the audience is interested, but if you don't no think the audience is interested... No one wants to know about your horde, but I want to know about your horde, so tell me, Lauren. Lauren, tell me, Vanessa, all about one. your horde. Oh, awesome! So, Steel Scale finds all of the, like, shelf space that she can, and she sets out um, all of these like, wooden folders, like, bound wooden folders that uh, have, like, paper magazines in them. And uh, they're her Pathfinder Chronicles collection. She's got a whole bunch of them. She doesn't have the whole set. There's some that are harder to find. Uh, but she has two that are the pride and joy of her collection. She has a Pathfinder Chronicles Volume 1 in good condition, uh, which is probably the most valuable thing she's got in there besides now those leaves of the wisdom tree. And then she has a Pathfinder Chronicles Volume 5, which is super hard to get. Unfortunately, this one has had so much water damage, it's actually unreadable, but you can see where it made out that it's volume five. So she's she's good enough for that because otherwise they're impossible to find. Uh, she also has a bunch of like memorabilia. Um, she has a, a Eridan mem memorabilia. So there's like old uh, religious icons and artifacts. And there is some like... Uh, there's like a, a tabard, like a cleric would wear and stuff that's in pretty good condition. So she's like hanging that stuff up. And then she's also got this whole set of Apsu figurines and statuettes. There's like a, a stuffy and there's um, wood carving ones and all sorts of things that are all Apsu. She has a few items that are Dervin guest memorabilia. He's like some Muckety Muck Pathfinder guy. So she has a few <laughs> of those. Uh, of, of Dervin Guest and just other like heroic memorabilia of like, oh, someone theoretically like, you know, slew a, a troll and cut off his ear. And this is a, an actual troll ear that there was cut off in this battle. And she's got, like all these things. So she's like setting all these up and, and they all have these little name plates that go in front of them that describe what they are. So the room that she was given to stay in, whatever larger room this is, now looks like some cut rate museum <laughs> with like all these pieces out and she likes to kind of sleep in the center of the room so wherever she rolls around if she opens her eyes she gets to see part of her horde oh i love it yeah she doesn't get it uh we uh, there are also a few issues of jane's jaunts um that don't really she doesn't keep out she she usually just like she like pulls them out and maybe hop sees them and she Steel Seal quickly puts them away and is like, these aren't for public display. These are just for me. Oh. Are those naughty books? Mm -hmm. Tusk Love? Yeah. <laughs> Tusk Love. Okay. Tales from Dragons. Uh, James, James Letters. John, Letters James to the Dragons. A, it's a, uh, a magazine. Uh, a narrative magazine about uh, a woman who explores the world and has a lot of different experiences that may or may not pay for her stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, not All based right. on, yeah, uh, but it, it's based on a, a magazine that uh, Helen came up with for our Velum and Lace series. Oh, I love it. Ah, yeah. you're plugging. Got it. Hey, I got there. <laughs> plug away. All right. Plug a plug. You have your horde set up like any 
respectable nerd would. It's like, ooh, I have my dragon horde. Uh, it's all collectibles. And I look, I got them on the shelf, and I have them sorted by their value and their ranking and rating from the official raiders of dragon hordes um you gotta stand and they take a 10 percent commission but then they give you an official rating from 10 to zero and look i got mostly nines and this one's a 9.9 .9. it's my favorite one um and look they seal it and it is now enclosed in plastic and i will never ever ever get to open it ever again or use it or play with it but it looks cool and i can appreciate it Look, I even have them all inventoried in the spreadsheet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's not something I would do, so I wanted to do a self-burn there. I can't tell if Vanessa's angry or happy. I mean, it's it's that energy, but it's uh, it's fantasy, right? So plastic doesn't exist. So I imagine that the magazines are individually cared for on in like wooden planks that all fit together in a box. She's like, I got my brand new magazines, yeah. which I will never open. I will never read. She, I will put them in the plastic with the cardboard backing. Okay. Okay. Anti-acid, no less. I have. I okay. Here's the up, thing, though. I have, to, I have box, to mention this. There's the a box reason. The closet. <laughs> yes. The reason the Pathfinder Chronicles Volume 1 is in good condition and not mint condition. <laughs> Okay. Uh, can, I'm going to say she bought it in mint condition for a king's ransom and then sneezed on it and she has sonic breath and had to fix parts of it. But it's still in good condition. It's just got some little rips and tears here. Oh. I know. It's terrible. But it was worth it because she wanted to read it. This she is why it. your mom told you you can't have nice things. But she wanted to read it and she was during her Dervin Guest period where she was really excited about Dervin Guest. And then at some point she moved to the uh, like the Starstone Isle, Isle of Cortos, um, and she started hearing tales about Aridin. Everyone's very excited about Aridin, so lately she's been collecting Aridin memorabilia. Such a geek. I mean, she came here because she wanted to see the Pathfinder Grand Lodge where Dervin Guest was, and she thought that was cool. And then she started hearing about Aridin, so she, you know, whatever. But her oldest stuff is her Apsu stuff. That's what her Dwarven family helped her collect and gave her, and so she's still really like. That has like more sentimental value to her, so she thinks those are cool. Kaden Kaylin, all the way. I'm glad no one worships Dayhawk. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm more of a Besmara girl myself. Age of Ashes was before this one, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it all took yeah, but it yes. Word. Okay. No bad dreams. Steel Scale managed to set up her new horde in her temporary quarters. Um Hap has new appreciation for sleeping near Darius. Um, okay, who wants to do what? The town needs more help. You've been listening to Roll for Combat, Three Ring Adventure, a Pathfinder actual play podcast. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at rollforcombat.com. You can also find us and play various games on our Discord channel at discord.rollforcombat.com. You've been listening to Roll for Combat. Until next week, if you run out of range of your party healer, it's your own damn fault and you deserve to die. <laughs>